Hey, I'm Kather, and welcome back to the Christmas update for 2020. Still just kind of in the lull, waiting for the fourth and final act to pop up. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna continue on in the Santa Wonderland mystery box. So there are one, two, three, four, five prizes. They're remaining. I'll keep saying this until it happens. If I get the Topiary and or the Elf Daycare door, I will open up the box again because I feel those prizes are probably not worth a specific video. Here we go. I got Father Sean. Was this a particular character which was part of that ridiculous, stupid Easter spinning wheel thing? Or am I getting that confused with somebody else? I want to say they probably were. If not, I don't know who else would have been. I know him. I know it tastes like a cracker, but it's actually his body. Father Sean. Fill me in. What exactly are we talking about? Churchy Joes. So these are all the five characters for this. Not a clue if they have a voice, but we've got Homie to start this off. Go! I just backed into a parked motorcycle with my car. I gotta get out of here before its rightful son of anarchy shows up. Excuse me, your vehicle appears to be on my bike. Too late, the gang has me. I'll be chain whipped to a bloody pulp. Relax, friend. The only gang I run with meets Sunday mornings at St. Thomas More Church. Your motorcycle gang meets in a church? Well, that's pretty hardcore. I sure am sorry about your bike. If you need to inflict gruesome street justice on me, I understand. Instead, why not make it up to me by attending a service? While I was looking for new members, see you Sunday. Oh my god, I'm going to be in a motorcycle gang. This is the greatest day of my life. I get the feeling that was planted there. Father Sean is a cold son of a gun. Be cool on his motorcycle. I meant to say motorbike, but I mean, we can call it a motorcycle if you want. So no voice. But we get our first animation. Time to rip it down on the open road, baby. Father John. Oh, there he is. Checking out Egg the Skinner. I don't blame you. Boy, he really doesn't want to go past this point, does he? He just loves the mother loving shooter comp company. Once again. Keep checking out Agnes Skinner. He can't leave this area for whatever reason. Seriously, what is up with this place? He can't get enough? Even though he's still looking back in the distance in the sunset. At that chicken company and Agnes Skinner. He just, nope. For whatever reason, he, he, he wants to go back. He loves her so much and the sugar. What the? Flanners, I've always been a good friend to you. But for your own safety, please know that I am in a motorcycle gang now. What truly horrible news. It is great, isn't it? Yeah, my gang leader is called Father Sean, which, I don't need to tell you, is a very cool nickname. On Sundays, we throw these sick gang parties. We sing songs and drink Sacramento wine. And you know how bad guys in movies are always quoting stuff from the Bible? Father Sean does that too, a ton, because he's the most evil gang leader ever. But he also quotes from contemporary rap songs. Kind of speaks to us all gang types on our level, you know? He's so awesome. Homer, I'm not entirely sure this gang is what you think it is. We don't know that yet, and I still think he planted that bike there. Oh, we got our second and final animation, quote contemporary rappers in a sermon. Are we going to see a platform or whatever those things are called where he stands behind them? I think that's what we're going to get. Nope, he is just hip hopping down the street. Well, by golly, I absolutely love this. Not sure what he's quoting, but you know it's got to be good because he's getting down. Hey, hey, Flanders, want to hear another cool thing about my gang? The worldwide leader of the whole deal is called the Pope. How twisted is that? The Pope. 
Just like that dude in Rome who's always nicer than the one that came before him. Homer, brace yourself. I think this game you've joined is actually a k k k. Oh, I can't say it. It's too horrible. Out with it, stupid Flanders. The Catholic Church sobs uncontrollably. Church? Father Sean, are you saving my eternal soul? How dare you? Let's talk about this later, yeah? A band is about to go on stage. Your band? Stop making religion cool, celibate Fonzie. Could there be three animations? Because I'd love to have this be animated. No, that's where the fun stops. I'm sorry I tricked you into coming to church, Homer. I'm just bummed out there's no motorcycle gang, because deep down, I want what every man wants. To belong to a doctrinaire, hierarchical organization that enforces his will through intimidation and violence. But the Catholic Church did all those things and more. Sure, but then Pope Francis came along and ruined everything, with all his caring about poor people and seeming like a nice, decent guy. Disgusting. I'll admit, it's been an adjustment for all of us. Homer, if I'm trying to recruit you for Catholicism, it is only because I want you to get into heaven. What? All I need to punch my heaven ticket is to repent my sins right before I die, correct? Well, uh, technically that's true. So, I can sin all I want, and then just before I croak I say, My bad, sorry guys, and I get the same result that a genuinely good person would. Uh... Loophole! You're not really appreciating the spirit of the thing. Hey, don't blame me if you guys goofed when you wrote the rules. See ya on my deathbed, dude. Not a moment before. So this is gonna wrap it up. He didn't plant the bike all along, which I thought he did. And off he goes. So I will follow him as we wrap this up. I guess that's where it ends. Let me know down below what you think of Father Sean, and of course, was it from the Easter spin wheel, like I said in the beginning? I don't know. You'll obviously let me know down below, and I'll see you very shortly with more in the Christmas 2020 update and Act 4, the final act, very, very shortly. So thank you very so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, right, everybody.